All right, so today we're talking about uh, ashwagandha. <clears throat> ashwagandha is an amazing herb. It's it's one of them that I think everyone should take. Uh, for the most part, it's uh, it's good for almost anyone. It's an adaptogenic herb. So adaptogens are unique. They're like um, an example of an adaptogen is ginseng. Adaptogens, adaptogens give us energy. They improve the way our body responds to stress. They help us sleep better. They, they wake us up in the morning. They calm us down at night. Um, their name says it all. It helps us adapt to stressful situations and to uh, our life, as it were. Ashwagandha has a really unique history. Um, in uh, Greek mythology, it was a gift given to Apollo. It was um, uh, it's known throughout Asia for its effects in Chinese medicine and uh, in Ayurveda. Um, Alexander the Great used to make a wine out of uh, ashwagandha roots or had a wine made and, and fed that to his troops before they'd go into battle. Uh, what's more stressful than, you know, combat and, and being in that, in that moment. And that's one of the most successful uh, combat units in the history of the world. So uh, when you look at ashwagandha, it is a nightshade. Um, it's also known as the winter cherry. Uh, I think we call it uh, the king of herbs as well in, uh, in some uh, traditions. But it is a nightshade. And, and nightshades, um, some people are sensitive to. So if you're sensitive to nightshades, uh, which is a test that your naturopath might be able to help you out with, um, then you might not be able to take ashwagandha. Uh, a nightshade is, by definition, something that naturally has some uh, nicotine in it. Um, tobacco, obviously, has the most nicotine. Uh, tomatoes are a nightshade. They have a tiny, tiny bit of nicotine in them. So that's one of the defining um, measures for uh, nightshades. If you're sensitive to nightshades, there's other herbs that would work better um, that are in the same class. Rhodiola, ro rhodiola rosacea would be one. Uh, that's one we'll talk about later. And uh, ginseng, uh, there's several different kinds. Korean or Panax ginseng is one type that's very energizing. Uh, American ginseng is um, very calming. So they're all kind of different. Uh, ashwagandha seems to be, uh, for me anyway, one of the best uh, in terms of its broad activity. It's slightly anti-inflammatory. It is uh, somewhat uh, uh, stimulating uh, during the day. But a lot of people, when they first start taking it, will notice that they get tired the first few days and they, they sleep. And that's because it's helping your body reset and, uh, it yeah, it definitely make you sleep better. Uh, it helps to control cortisol, which uh, we all know cortisol is that stress hormone that causes weight gain and uh, anxiousness and a lot of other things. Uh, so it helps to control that. Ashwagandha has been used in uh, helping to overcome addictions such as opioid addiction, nicotine addiction, um, uh, um, um, all kinds of drug and alcohol addictions uh, because it helps the body modulate its restra uh, stress response. And by, by that, I mean it helps to control that to a certain degree. Ashwagandha, king of herbs, can't go wrong with it. Uh, Alexander the Great thought so. And uh, all the traditions throughout that region used it and, and talked about it with great reverence. So uh, ashwagandha.